for society organizations, CSOs in Nigeria and their Navy to ensure the safety of the nation's infrastructure is crucial for maintaining security and stability. Also, protecting critical infrastructure such as the ports, oil installations, power plants and transportation networks is essential for economic development and national security. Uh, this came to the fore at an event to promote the partnership between CSOs and the Navy. The partnership is viewed as instrumental in enhancing security measures and ensuring the resilience of Niger's infrastructure against various challenges. Speaking of the event, the President of Vision One Leadership Development Initiative, John Emmanuel, says by joining forces with civil society organizations, they aim to strengthen capabilities, foster community engagement, and improve intelligence sharing. There is no doubt that this administration has come up with the initiative to embark on massive infrastructure development across the country. But it doesn't end there. We cannot add the security agents alone to take ownership of this to protect this infrastructure. We must create this advocacy to make it sure that Nigerians will see the need of taking ownership of government infrastructure within their environment at Jerry Valadezo. Our critical infrastructure belongs to every Nigerian, and this is for the good of Nigeria, it's for the development of Nigeria. And in that area, which I am aware of, the government is doing a whole lot. Government has at all times endeavored to make available resources, physical, virtual, or otherwise, that will enable us live the kind of life that we deserve and desire. But what happens? The same citizens of Nigeria, for no just cause, for no reason, sometimes will go and attack these facilities and destroy them. Such collaboration and exchange of information could enhance intelligence gathering and improve civil military relations between the Nigerian Navy and community stakeholders for protection of Nigerian's maritime domain.